I frequently use the when you do one exercise, you can get repetitive, you know, kind of repetitive injuries, and you can build up one set of muscle and atrophy another. It's kind of like doing the high jumper. Many of you have probably heard me use this analogy for, you know, 15 years. You end up with some really big thighs and some little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. And, and we have not been doing the full body workout. Again, our focus has been in contact, in combat, and, and, and we needed to be able to do that. But now we've got to make this transition. And we started this transition several years ago at our combat training centers, refocusing on decisive action training to really be able to face these peer and near-peer threats with advanced capabilities. But we've got to overcome some of our culture uh, that has been ingrained and imprinted uh, within the force and within the institution. You know, in limited contingency operations, we've been able to pick the time and place. Okay, we've been able to, you know, one of our strengths uh, as the U.S. Army, we've been able to get in there, been able to build the Iron Mountain, be able to choose the time and place that we wanted to do operations. When you think back to the potential of large-scale combat operations against a peer threat, we may not have the opportunity to pick the time and place.